This is Pori 1119 with Head Frame Hunters. Uh, figured I'd show you all some of the cooler pieces of equipment in the yard here. So these are not ours. Uh, they belong to uh, someone else. They're a pair of Imco 630. Call them crawler muckers. Uh, what they are is uh, an air-powered uh, trackless, well, in the sense of uh, rail. Uh, overshot mucker. So these are pretty commonly used in uh, shaft sinking operations to load a bucket, but they can also be used in a, in a drift mine. You can load a, a truck backwards with them. So they've got a, there's your bucket. I think these are about about a third of a yard per bucket. They're air powered. There's a, a big air motor inside with that chain, which is hooked to the bell crank on the bucket. So that's what uh, raises the bucket. And then there's uh, individual air motors on uh, each set of tracks. So controls on these are well, both different, but uh, here's your your uh, your bucket dig and uh, your bucket up and down it uh, doesn't trans translate over from loader controls as well because when you on your your digging that actually uh, you keep digging and it dumps your bucket so this one has a joystick the only that works is uh, it's connected via a, a push rod there to both these valves and then those valves uh, control the uh, they each control one of the drive motors so you see I bring it forward it's, this one's a little bit finicky bring it forward it brings them both down bring it back it brings them both up and then when you push it off to the side you get opposite movement so you'll turn inside your own footprint. I think these use about 600 cubic feet a minute of compressed air. So comparable or a little bit more than uh, like a 12B. Then this one, uh, it's got twin stick tramming controls which is kind of funny. So the, the valves are here and here, and the, the bucket controls are similar. So this is a 630, number 0236. And, uh, back up here is where your, your bowl hose would connect. Unlike uh, like a Cabo 310, where your bowl hose sits... Uh, right on the operator's platform and that is what that platform is for you can see it folds or is uh intended to fold to cage the machine or if the operator wants to run it off the side which you know uh, for some applications it's the way you got to do it uh, what else is there on these so they've got shock absorbers these are big shock absorbers. I believe those are to uh, absorb the impact of the, the bucket throwing all the way back. So the advantage these have over an LHD when driving drift is you don't need a remuck bay or a turnaround point. You can just pull the 630 up to the up to the muck pile, back your truck up to it, and start slinging muck. Now the downsides, uh, they're loud. They sound like a uh, Somewhere between a chainsaw and an angry skid steer with a cold. And they're not very safe. You know, you're just standing on that little platform. You can scrape yourself off the machine if you were, uh, if you were careless. Got that uh, big reciprocating bucket that swings by you. You don't have, uh, a, you don't have a, a roll bar or ROPS of any kind. Uh, you're tethered to your air. You can't tram around, restricted only by ventilation like you can with an LHD. Uh, and cost-wise, these really aren't 
any more cost effective than uh, a used small LHD, but these are here and I suppose they could end up getting put into use by, by somebody, which would be neat. But just figured y'all would enjoy that. So uh, this has been Head Frame Hunters. Thank you very much for watching, guys.